Hello everyone. In this video of MongoDB, you will expect this topics to be covered. Say for example, we will see how we can import the JSON data to our existing MongoDB tables, existing MongoDB collections. Then we'll see what is the exact difference between find one and a find method. We'll see some filtration and operators with find function. Uh, like say for example, we will see comparison operators uh, greater than not equals to in, not in and logical operators like and or not. Again, I am Jinal Shah, trainer and consultant on various JavaScript framework. I am Microsoft most valuable professional. So now let's dive with an action. So now for a data set, you can simply Google movies data set JSON and you can click on this GitHub and that will provide you some awesome database JSON data sets. And here if you scroll it down, you can click on that movies and inside the movies you will have the American movies scrapped from Wikipedia. Now I'll be using this data set because this is a JSON format and I'll be using this data set to import this data in my MongoDB collection. I've stored that JSON data on my desktop. So I'm inside my uh, desktop directory and the command to import that data inside your MongoDB collection would be mongo import then name of your JSON file. So here in my case, I am inside the same directory where I have created or stored my JSON file. So I do not need to give the path because I am in the same directory. If you are not in the same directory, give the full path to your JSON file. So in my case, name of the file would be movies.json. Then I will be specifying minus D stands for database. And here I'll say create a DB movies. This is the name of the database. And again, I'm say, uh, again as in second flag, I'll be saying minus C that stands for collection. And I'm saying create movies collection inside db movies database and what i'll use as in third flag i'll be using json array because i'm using this import statement for multiple documents if you are importing a single document then there is no need to use this json array now in the case if you are uh, importing the multiple documents then you will require this json array and as in last flag, I'll be using draw that flag. You only require if you want to drop your existing database or existing collection and create a new one from the imported data. Or if you want to append the data to your existing database, simply do not use this drop flag. Hit enter. But remember, before writing this Mongo import, do not forget to start your Mongo server. So now we are done. We have imported 28,795 documents to our collection. Let me show you. So here I'll say clear screen and again I'll be using Mongo and then I'll be saying show DBs. So that will display list of database in my local machine. So you can see DB movies is created. So here I can write use DB movies. And now I'll say show collections. So you can see movies collection is created. And now if I write the command db dot movies dot find dot pretty so that will return us the movies and as you can see this find will return us the cursor it will display only first 20 records on your screen now we will see this find and find one method 
in the details so now as the name suggests if we use the find one command it will return us only one movie from the list so we can see we have this five uh, you can say uh, properties inside the documents id title year cast and genus we will query on this fields now this find one will return us exact one value it will not return us the cursor in the case of find it will return us the cursor so now here we can also use this find function with some filtration like say for example which record you want to display say for example if you want to display a record whose title is should be 2018 then you can use this find one within this criteria so again excuse me we have given the wrong criteria because title should not be 2018 instead of title we need to pass this year so that will return us exit one movie which match the this criteria year 2018 now with the same case if we use this find method instead of find one that will return us the list of records or you can say it will return us the cursor it will return all the records which match our criteria so this is the basic difference between find one and find find one will return us exact one record whereas find return us all the records which it match and find return us the cursor now as a next query we will move to the operators for the list of operators available in mongodb we will be navigating to official documentation of mongodb so here we will be clicking on this documents click on getting started and then navigate to the reference tab so now click on this references and you can see the list of operators available in mongodb so in this video we will be talking about the comparison operator so inside this query and projection operator you can find the comparison query operators and these are the few operators available with mongodb first is an equal which match your exact criteria then is greater than this is greater than equal to in less than less than equal to not equals to and not in we will see all of them in action one by one so now back to our mongodb here what i want to display is i want to display the equal use of the equal to operator so here i'll be using db dot name of my collection is movies then find method and inside that find i will be using that criteria so here i will be using that uh, uh, find op so here now i'll say uh, uh, i want to display the movies which got released in the year 2011 so here i'll be saying year now this year is a name of the field or inside your document so here i'll be saying year and here i'll say we can use this equal to like dollar equal to and here i'll be saying 2011 and that equal to work as a same before in the previous query i'll show you in the in just a minute but uh, but let me finish this first so now if i run this with the pretty it will display us the movie the list of the movies which got released in the year 2011 you can see all the records with the movie year 2011 now this equal to query is exactly the same which we have already written before find year 2018 this by default works as an equal to so if you write this query or this query 
with an equal to operator both result would be the same now instead of equal to say for example if you want to display the list of the movies which got released after 2011 so here i can use this greater than operator so here i'll be using this greater than and it will display us only the movies which got released after 2011 so these are the list of the movies which got released after 2011 you can see the movie year is 2012 the same way you can query on the geners so in the next i'll be showing you how we can uh, write the not in query so here i'll be saying okay dbs dot find and here instead of this year i'll be using another field and this field is of my document and here instead of the greater than operator i'll be using that not in operator and that will require an array so here inside this array i want to display the list of the movies which is not type of comedy and uh, you can say drama and also you can write action so in this query i want to display the list of the movies which doesn't include the genus comedy drama and action so these are the list of the movies where you can find the genus is not equal to comedy action and drama you can see some are the empty or null and some is the short now say for example if you want to write multiple criteria multiple filter on this uh, find method then we can use the and operator so in the next query we will write and operator so now i want to combine the result with an and query so here you can write your end query so i'll write it from the beginning so here i would say db.movies.find now i'll be using the operator dollar end and that dollar operator will require the list of arguments and that is an array so if you want to uh, read more about the syntax of this dollar end if you can navigate to this official documentation of mongodb here logical query operators and inside the logical query operators you can click on this dollar and operator so now you can see the dollar and is you can use it with the array so here you can find the exact syntax how you can use this dollar and operator now in our case we want to write the query with uh, you can say the first condition would be gener so here i'll be saying should not in so i'll be using another operator not in and again that will require an array so here i would be saying drama and uh, thriller and now as in second argument of my end function i'll be having another condition and here i'll be seeing so here i'll be seeing as in second condition that movie should be released in the year of 2018 now if i run this query you can see we have list of movies with the year 2018 and which doesn't have the gener action and drama drama and comedy so here is the how you can use this geners or this end operator with mongodb